Hello Pisces, welcome to Drake Tarot. My name is Becky and this is a love reading for December. It's for singles only. Hopefully it can give you some guidance to wherever you are, but please remember this is a collective read and not all is going to resonate. Please check with your moon and rising and your Venus and cusp sign um, to see if you find anything more there. Please your own, use your own discernment. We all have the power of free will and to use your intuition, your intelligence and heart space to find out your answers. Don't use this as the be all and end all of your truth. Okay, so what I'm going to do is a his and hers, and then we're going to do um, like some a uh, couple of oracle cards to see what they want to say to you or what you want to say to them. So, so first I'm going to do your energy find out what's going on with you where you're going what you're doing and then we'll do the other person um what is this other person feeling about the situation what will they might do again they also have free will and might make a different decision let's find out this is for pisces please pisces pisces okay Now, that wasn't meant to happen. I think the cards are a bit lively today, Pisces. Someone wants to get a message quickly out. Quickly, quickly get it out. Quickly get the message out. Right, here we go. So, Pisces, your first card out is Justice. There's a balance that needs to be maintained in a situation where both parties win here. And with the king of coins as your obstacle. It could be to do with a financial situation when it comes to a father. Or it could be to do with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. There's an understanding here that this person is offering their love in the form of finance. Um, and this, in a way, is not fair to a situation. Something's not fair. Let me keep on getting the cards out. So we've got contemplation, which is card nine. So you're in hermit mode at the moment. You're kind of looking at the situation, um, thinking about this person, where they're going, what they're doing, what's their decisions. You're admiring them from a distance. And it's like you want to make plans for the future, but you realise that it's going to be a quest. It's going to be difficult. I see a cello here. I don't usually see the cello in this card. So if there's someone watching this and they know about a cello, they play a cello. Anyway, right, I'll keep going. Someone um, lost their courage in the past. It could have been to do with a Leo or a past person was a Leo. Um, I see this ending of having the strength and courage to move forward. Now things need to equal out about a situation that involves a father. Um, but this father is in the way. There needs to be justice. Justice needs, it could be to do with like um, a settlement or a divorce or something to do with a legal matter here. We have the six of coins in reverse. So your higher self would like to um, receive an amount that's fair. You don't want to be a charity case in this situation. You want to be able to earn your own money. Um, yes, it's nice to receive money, but you want to earn your own money here. You want to be able to look after yourself. 
Maybe you're in a situation where you're not able to, so you're relying on this person here. Wow, okay, so we've got the world card is your future, near future card. Um, usually the world card talks about a karmic cycle ending. Um, if we're talking about the justice card, a classic thing I'm looking at here is someone who's separated and getting a divorce. Um, but your obstacle is the fact that they are giving money to a situation. They are the father, maybe, and they are giving uh, money. And there's a dependency on that. Now, with the two of coins in reverse, it's talking about understanding that you don't have to juggle. There's an advice here of that you don't have to juggle two things at once. It's prioritise which is most important to you and go towards that. Um, you are doing a good job at keeping things afloat. But there's a necessity here of knowing that while you're in a situation where you can't take love on, there is something coming your way. Because with the triumph card, I'm looking at this, look at this. This is two people passionate about each other here. Look at that. But this lady here has got a cord. Have you noticed that? She's like she's got a piece of string. A, a just in case. Just in case things go wrong, I'm holding on to this string to find me back home. To take me back home. This is a card of travel. So it may be that someone is travelling to you or someone you are travelling to another person. It could be you actually because you're the one holding the string. You're the one who feels lost. Feels like you've been taken away and not being able to get to where you need to be. So if you're a single, single person here, it's a case of you're not wanting to fall too deeply with this person just in case you can't get back up and you get lost which is very wise don't get that's that's a very good idea now you've got the four of cups this is in reverse so they're seeing you as someone who appreciates the things around you, you appreciate your if you have children you that you appreciate your work your things around you um you don't take things for granted here and they see that in you this is someone who is not having apathy or boredom. They're, everything is a positive. I mean, everyone has bad days, don't get me wrong. But this person sees your qualities as this. And this is what is attracting them to you. Queen of Coins. You hope you don't end up one of these sort of Spend happy, jealous people, which wouldn't happen to Pisces. You would not turn, but you still fear it. But the fear in itself is stopping you from being that person. Um, you don't want to end up sort of in, in a debt or relying again on people for money. You want to be able to be self-sufficient and be able to run your house, your home, your life to the best of your ability. If you're... Um, You want to be reliable. I see you wanting to be reliable here. You could also fear a woman in your life. Um, it could be an earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But you fear this person because they judge you. They judge you in a certain way, but they never tell you about what they're judging you on. And they've always got their side eye on you. And you're not too sure how to take this person. So in a way, you fear this person, whoever this is. And here we have innocence in reverse. So the idea here is if you go, oh, God, no. Oh, <laughs> Again, this is just a tarot reading. So please take this with a pinch of salt. Use your own heart, your intuition, your logic, all that kind of good stuff. But I'm seeing here someone coming towards you. Um. It could be an earth sign, to be honest. I see a lot of earth in this. 
um, maybe Leo, maybe um, Aries, but it's, and Virgo, you've got a Virgo energy, but that's your contemplation energy. You happy being on your own at the moment, thinking about things, thinking about where you can go. Um, it seems to be that your completion of this situation, this ending of another a past energy and the advice is, is to not go towards something new just yet okay I'm sorry this is the energy I'm getting and to hold your horses concentrate on yourself there's still a little bit more to go uh, from this past energy of healing once you become this person that you want to be this queen of coins upright being self-sufficient, being able to carry yourself. There comes an understanding that um, it's just saying don't juggle two things at once. It will cause imbalance. In the near future, you have this triumph. There's some person coming along. Um, it feels like someone from the past coming back because they didn't have the courage in the past. But I'll get some more with the other the, the person's reading here. So this is the other person. What's going on with this other person? Who is this other person? What is going on? So, yeah, I feel like there's a, a reconciliation, um, but it involves travel. And I also see it could be you just holding on to a piece of string here just to make sure you don't delve in too deep. You're not putting your full heart into this. Um, but you feel as if maybe this might be a foolish decision with the um, full card upside down. So you don't want to feel as if you're doing something impulsive, erratic. They're kind of asking you not to do that as well. I mean, if you get an offer of saying, let's meet up, let's go and do go somewhere, um, it's warning you against it because this might be a foolish decision. OK, it's like I said, this is December's energy. So if you do have an offer of some sort coming your way, um, there's some kind of um, justice, some paperwork that needs to be done. So if you're halfway through being divorced or separated, this needs to be completed first. That's the feeling I'm getting. I mean, it, what, it's supposed to be a singles reading, but I suppose even if you're separated, and you're still married, you're still considered single in a weird way because you're not together, are you? It's just um, you're, you're in between worlds, as they call it. So, other person's energy, please. What's going with the going on with the other person? Okay, Ace of Swords we've got there. They're thinking about uh, giving you a truth. They're thinking about telling you something to give you clarity. Yeah, with two pentacles in reverse. So your advice is the two of pentacles in reverse. They are in this state of dealing at one thing at a time here. Now we've got the King of Swords. They have an obstacle and their obstacle is someone of authority. So this is a leader here, someone that deals with the paperwork, the communication in a company or job role here. Um, they have to show themselves in a proper way. They have to have a certain... Um, obligation to look a certain part where they are now this is their obstacle to going towards what they want to do so it's like they don't want to juggle they don't want to juggle here but their their occupation is stopping them from doing that this could be someone that has a high demanding job role here okay now we have the five of swords in their current energy. Ew. Oh. Okay. 
they look heartbroken in this card i'll show you the picture this is their current energy um they've got their bouquet of flowers that looks like it was supposed to go someone and they have these swans kind of wanting to attack attack him or the roses and uh, that's the way he's feeling at the moment maybe there's a sadness here Swans are very territorial, aren't they? So it could be that um, there's a certain certain people that are territorial towards you. You have a protective, you you are protected here, Pisces. Okay, and there's a, some people are being territorial towards you in a way that don't come near that that person, you know. And they this is bringing them sadness because they feel as if they can't get to you now you've got the um hmm, the star card the past energy um is a star so this is someone who has hope feeling as if their wishes came true in the past um it's known as being aquarian energy Oh, wow, right, okay, so they have the lovers. This is a major choice in love, their soulmate. They want to go towards their soulmate, okay? This is someone who wants this. Okay, I'm not too sure who it is yet. But I'm guessing you do here, Pisces. We have the Eight of Swords, their future energy. They're, even in the near future, they're going to feel mentally restricted to go forward to communicate this is someone that is holding themselves back their own mind their own fears are holding them back so i don't see anything happening in the near future because of this their advice is the nine of cups so here we have someone who this it looks like a bit of a sleaze ball to be fair and she don't look too happy about it um but their advice card is to not to come forward in this manner um this is dishonorable it's kind of there's drink involved there's cups involved it's if you're on a night out and they've had too much to drink their advice is not to do this this is this is bad energy um it could be to come forward at a party but not in this way this is an understanding of showing love rather than sleaze <laughs> that's what i'm getting from that okay so if you are the the cross watcher of a pisces be wary of doing this towards them okay could be the other way around could be pisces going towards the other person um but yeah there's that's that energy so with the two of wands in reverse um you don't see them planning movement forward you see them being delayed you haven't got any hope of them coming towards you it's like um yeah you just kind of gave up on that and here we have the 11 justice yeah they hope for this too they hope for the legal system to step in to make things right to there could be um either the other person's divorcing or you're divorcing, but there's some legal matter that needs to be sorted here. This is their hope and fear because this is going to bring them change. So as soon as things happen, then things happen for them. Does that make sense? Maybe they're waiting for you to finish something before they can come forward. And then with while you have the full energy, you they have the nine of wands um it's in reverse so yeah there's um they give up here pisces they're giving up the conclusion to this is in the near distance they give up because they have this fear this restriction of not being able to come towards you um I'm not sure if this can be saved, if it's worth saving, if you feel as if it's worth saving. Um, if this is 
worth your time, your energy? Um, I don't know. Do you go forward? I feel as if, no, you don't, because it's asking you to concentrate on one thing at a time. Like, you're not ready. You need to finish something first before you start this new thing. So this is December energy. It could be that you have an offer a while out at a party, but you're not ready for it. Okay, Pisces. All right, on that note, we'll do one of these. I have to close my eyes for these, so I can't. I'm try I'll look up, because... There's a picture and a writing on the back. So I'm going to do one for you. What you want to say to this other person? What does Pisces want to say to this person? What does Pisces want to say to this person? Oh, I can't. I want that one. What is it? Haha, <laughs> no way. Okay, we've got that. And it says, wait. Don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. That's what you want to say to them. So what do they want to say to Pisces? What do they want to say to Pisces? Uh, da, 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 da. I'll get there in a minute. That one. Okay. You have power. You instinctively know what is right for you. And you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time. So this is what they want to say to you. You have the power here, Pisces. This is kind of puts thing into perspective now, is that they're giving you the power here of what you want to do. Um, like I said, you're not ready yet by the looks of it. That's take that into your own circumstances. Um, and to once you're ready, you've finished the last thing. And uh, you can move on to the new and then you'll feel this feeling of power to, that will come forward to you. OK, what time are we on? 22 minutes. I think that's it for you, Pisces. Um, if there's anything more you would like, please do contact me for personal reading if you want some more information. Um, I do a live reading on my group page, which is in the description, which I do every Tuesdays. Um, please feel free to like and subscribe. I really would appreciate it. I do these on a monthly basis. Sometimes I do spiritual, sometimes I do general. And I do them for all the signs. And I'm trying to keep that up. <laughs> um, and I really do appreciate you watching this. And thank you so much for your support if you're already a subscriber. Thank you very much. All right. Take care. Bye.